why do women, why are we the ones that have to do all this stuff? Hey guys, Chris here from Chef Wannabe's Life. This keeping it real is about one of those things in life that you have to do. I guess you don't have to. This keeping it real video is about eyebrow threading. If you've never had your eyebrows threaded, you will have people say to you, Oh, it is a much better than waxing. Oh, it doesn't really hurt at all. Oh, the lady's really nice in there. I have yet to have any of those things happen, and I've been threading for 10 years. Okay, not 10. Five. Let's go with five. So, I made a video a while back. I mean, a while back. Actually, probably close to my birthday. And, I mean, maybe four or five years ago. And I mentioned in there, it's actually an Alta haul. I'll try to link it. I'll try to link it below. Yeah, I'll try to link it below. And the lady who threaded my eyebrows. Okay, no, 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 no. Let me back up. Here's what happened the first time I ever got my eyebrows threaded. Okay, you ready? I was using salicylic acid on my face. Just like, you know, low doses to like clear things up. Well, I ran out of my face wash, just my regular face wash, so I went and got new face wash and clearly missed that it also had salicylic acid in it. So now I'm using a face wash in the morning with salicylic acid, and then I'm using, no, no, no. I was using glycolic acid. Yeah, I was using like, I don't know, was it 2% or something? I, I don't know. Some I was using glycolic acid. So, <clears throat> when I bought some just plain face wash, I thought it had glycolic acid in it. It had salicylic acid in it. Clearly, I'm traumatized by the whole situation. If I can find a picture of the after of this, I'll insert it, but I can't. I've, that was like three phones ago, and I'm pretty sure I don't have it. So I washed my face, put on my glycolic acid, I moisturized, and went out with one of my sisters. And we decided, while we're out, let's go get threaded. So we went in. It was the first time I'd ever been threaded. I've waxed my eyebrows my whole life. I am just going to tell you the first time, it felt like some medieval torture ritual. They go to thread that super coarse hair, it will either break the thread or it will feel as if you are growing in mutant fly hair that is attached somewhere in your lower back that they are pulling out of your face. I'm just saying. The first time was horrible. So I get done and then my sister chickens out. So off we go. About 20, 30 minutes later. Oh, and they did cooling gel when they were done. Oh yeah, and I had them do my whole face. If you don't know, even if you have, think you have no hair on your face, we all have super, super fine hair on our face. My makeup goes on nicer, it just looks nicer. I have a mustache, I have PCOS, so I have, I mean, I run the whole gamut on facial hair. I could be a better guy than most guys. So I had her do everything. As the whole time she's commenting about how I'm very hairy. I swear to you, that is what she said. I didn't understand another word that she said the entire time, but I understood very clearly, oh, you're very hairy. Whatever. So I thought, say one more thing to me, your tip is gone, because now it's in half. Next time, it's gone. So we leave, and about 20 minutes later, I'm like, Karen, face burns really bad. She goes, it does? I go, it especially burns like around here and on my face and it just, I mean, it was, it started in this area, you know, my beard area. So I just kind of went on and we stopped to do some more shopping and when we got out, she goes, oh my gosh, your face is so red. It is like flaming red. So, I just knew something wasn't right. Like, it wasn't like, oh, geez, it just irritated. It was like, 
this burns really bad. Like, it's making me feel sick to my stomach. So I called my doctor, and they were like, just, co just come in. I mean, it, just come in quick, and we'll look at it. Yeah. Well, let me just tell you, when you get threaded, because the thread is fat, I mean, it's essentially like fabric. I mean, fabric's made out of threads. It's basically like a big rug burn on your face, which normally doesn't matter because it's so fast, but because it was the first time I had it done and because unbeknownst to me, I had given myself salicylic acid burn on my face. And then I had my entire face waxed over the top. So that was my fault, but oh Lord have mercy if you could have felt what I felt for about three days. It was like my face was hamburger. It was terrible. So, now moving forward to about mm, three or four days before my cornea transplant. Because I wanted to get my eyebrows waxed before I had that done because I knew I wouldn't be able to have it done for a while after because I couldn't risk any hair getting in my eyes. So I had it done and I had grown it again for probably a month and whew, yeah, it was, mm, it just, it doesn't like make me cry anymore, but let me just tell you, it's painful, okay? It hurts. There's nothing comfortable about it. I don't care who you are. If you say it doesn't hurt, you're lying. You're lying and I don't know what your motive is, but you're lying, okay? I went in that so I haven't had it done since so I went in two days ago and I said are you okay with it if I film this for my viewers on YouTube she's like oh no 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 problem I said if your face gets in there I can blur it out whatever she's like no 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 so I am going to insert some footage of me getting it done I just try to like laugh and visit because girlfriends it is not comfortable and I am here to tell you that you have any sea hag hair you know like ones that stick out here or one that sticks up here one down here when she hits those and her thread breaks she's thinking to herself Ursula, the sea witch, she's a sea hag. So, <clears throat> I will, I'm going to mute most of the talking because she was talking about some personal stuff. But, I will just let you watch if you've never seen it done. Part of the thread she holds in her mouth and then she... I don't know. <laughs> Everybody do it now. I'm gonna get sick. Anyway. So here is that beautiful eyebrow threading footage.
my eyebrows threaded. Nobody wants to do it. But here's what happened. I've got to tell you, in case I don't know if I put this in or not. So she, I had her do my whole face. And then she starts like down here. And then she starts down here. I'm like, do I have a hairy neck? These feel so good when they're done. And I don't know why it is when she trims them with scissors, they look perfect. When I trim them, it looks like a blind person with a weed whacker got a hold of them. But, yeah. That's my keeping it real about eyebrow threading. The modern day medieval torture ritual. Enjoy. Bye guys.